Hi y'all, welcome back to Amber's Diamond Painting. This is Amber. Um, I was quite far into my the second part and my phone died, so that was great. Then I couldn't find some diamonds and yeah. So I think I was at the part where, shoot, oh, that their parents came and visited them, and I'm not sure why they didn't notice anything was wrong, I'm not sure if they didn't see the bruises on her, or if they like hid the bruises or oh I can't find my diamond painting pen. Uh not sure if they you know what what happened. And it's just it's crazy. It's a crazy story. It's a very, very sad, sad story. This isn't the end. Um, of course. <laughs> You're like, um, yeah, Amber, we know. I just gotta reload my pen, sorry. So I'm not sure what I have in this. If it's super sticky or if it, I think it was super sticky. Oh well, it'll get some more. The other one I was using, I forgot to tell you, I was trying out glue dots. I'm still, I'm still figuring it out. I'm, I, I think I'm getting the hang of it. But it lasted like two days, I think. Something like that. It lasted a long time. So I'm just going to get my super cute little super sticky. I find that this super sticky is really easy to use. I know some people have problems with it, but I, I enjoy it. I know I had a problem with that at first, but I don't know if it's because it's in the tin that it makes it easier, because I had the round, I do have it still, I have this small one, so it's kind of harder to dig in, you know, that one's bigger to be able to have more room, maybe that's what it was, I don't know. Or maybe it's just because I was first beginning and didn't know what to do. But yeah. I love that cute little monkey in there. The patty, regular patty box. And it smells amazing. It just doesn't... You know the clicking? It doesn't close all the way. And sometimes it... Oh, okay. Back to the story, Amber. Okay, so the parents left... And it's because um, Gertrude, she, she threatened them that she would harm their parents if they said anything. And one time they did sneak away and they called and was talking to their dad and asked him why he wasn't sending the checks and he said he was because she, she kept saying that the dad wasn't sending her the money and that's why they were getting punished also so oh I think I was at the point where the so she told Stephanie, her daughter's boyfriend, Coy, to put her downstairs in the basement. 
and he, like I said, he didn't just put her in the basement. He threw her down the stairs. And I think it, I think it damaged her back so bad, like, she couldn't move. And, um, she at first would, Gertrude would, to bathe her, whatever, once in a while, she would tie her hands and feet up together and throw her in a hot scalding bath and she'd put a rag in her mouth to to um mute her screams actually one of the neighbor neighbors did hear her screaming and thought about calling the cops but then the screaming stopped and so they didn't call the cops. Okay, and then get this. So, um, after, so the Koi gets her downstairs. Um, that kid Richard he's there the one that oh oops I got that really crooked the one that really liked Sylvia and Sylvia didn't like him he's just kind of a I don't know in the movie he was kind of just weird and um Sylvia she didn't like him and Gertrude was telling him all these lies like she's just a slut and just saying that she you know just turning him against her too and so then the coy then Gertrude come Gertrude comes down the stairs in the basement and she has um, Marie, one of the youngest daughters. She has her heat up a, a safety pin. Oh, whoops, what's going on? Why won't these let go? Hold on. Heat up a safety pin to where it was like flaming hot like red hot and they she's carved I'm a prostitute and proud of it onto her stomach and it took and I Gertrude she couldn't do it anymore so she had that Richard finish it finish it because the smell of burning flesh and stuff I guess she couldn't finish it which so yeah they branded her then um then after that it um Gertrude she would charge the name so they told Remember I told you her best friend was, her name was Anne. They told her all these lies and said that, like, she was talking ab about Anna or Anne. Anna or Anne, I can't remember. I think it was Anna. That she was, Sylvia always was talking about her and calling her bad names. And that she wanted her boyfriend and just things like that just to make her mad and she so Gertrude would um, make the kids local kids pay five cents to go and torture her they would burn her with 
um, the end of matchsticks, they would burn her with cigarettes, they would repeatedly kick her in the, in the hoo-ha and stomach. They kicked her so much even before they, she carved her, carved that and branded her, even before that. That's one of the main reasons why she had to stay down in the basement is because from being kicked so hard so much in her stomach and her and her privates, her hoo-ha, um, she became incontinent so she couldn't hold her bladder anymore from all the damage they did. So, they would, um, before that they hardly fed her. She'd have to eat out of the garbage when no one was looking. And, yeah, they would just give her scraps like leftover food and very little of it. So she was starving and... She barely got hardly any water. So she's dehydrated and she's starving and she's beaten beyond belief. Well, I'm not exactly sure how long she was in the basement for, but she had a lot of hope because her parents were only supposed to be gone for two months. Well, they informed Jenny that they were going to be another month. And it was told that Sylvia said that she, she just knew... She told Jenny, she says, I, let me, I gotta try and find that part so I can read it, because it's, it's so very sad. Um... Some of the, some of the more the ending I got a, um, she pretty much told her that she loved her and that she wasn't, she knew she wasn't going to make it because her sister did sneak her food and water as much as she could. Because Gertrude said if she ever caught her down here, there that she'd get the same treatment as Sylvia. And so her sister was crying to Sylvia. And Sylvia was telling her that it'll be okay. And for her to just listen so she doesn't get in trouble. But she knows she's not going to make it much longer and so Jenny didn't know what you know she didn't know what to do that Gertrude just the devil she was the most wickedest woman had Jenny just scared shitless and um So, okay, so by the morning of October 26th, Sylvia, um, Sylvia was unable to speak or move her limbs. Gertrude moved her in the kitchen and propped her, um, against the wall, attempted to feed her a donut and milk, although she threw, threw it up, 
and she couldn't eat it because she was she was too dehydrated so she couldn't eat the donut and it frustrated Gertrude so badly that um, she threw um, Gertrude to the floor in frustration and that was because Sylvia was unable to correctly move the glass of milk to her lips so she was returned back to the basement Um, shortly after Sylvia be, um, she's delirious, she's moaning and mumbling. Paula asked her to say the alphabet, alphabet, and Sylvia was not able to go beyond E. She was also, um, she was also not able to raise herself off of the ground at all. In response, um, Paula threatened to stand up to threatened her to stand up or she would kick her. Um, Sylvia was then told by Gertrude to clean herself up because she'd defecated herself. Then John sprayed Sylvia down with the hose. Sylvia, um, Sylvia then, she tried to, sorry, I keep saying, uh, I'm going to get better at this, guys, I promised. Sylvia then, um, she has, it's like she kind of got a little burst of energy and was able to get herself up. Oh, no, and before this, when the children and stuff would come over, um, they would, Gertrude would, um, tie her to the staircase and, um, make it to where her feet would barely be touching the ground. Not like, she, you know, this is not like she's in enough freaking pain or anything, you know, like just, let's just cu keep causing more pain, you know, and more, it's just, oh my gosh, this is just an awful story, guys. So, she's unable to move or do, pretty much even hold her head up, and they're making it so she can't even touch the ground with her, heart, barely touch the ground like on her tippy toes and so like I said she got a little bit of strength and she knew that if she didn't try to escape and get out of there that she was gonna die she she knew it Um, so she attempted to leave, but collapsed before reaching the stop, the, before reaching the top of the stairs. Um, Gertrude, Gertrude was at the, the top of the stairs, cause she must have heard her. And she stomped her head before standing on her and staring at her for several minutes. Stephanie decided to give Cynthia a warm, soapy bath. 
because I think Sylvia was the only one that tried to get her mom to stop. Paula was her friend at first, but Paula just got way too jealous of Sylvia. And I think Paula was is just more like her mom. I don't think, not Sylvia, I said Stephanie, right? Yeah, Stephanie, the other daughter. I think she was more sympathetic, and like I said, she wasn't around all the time. So a lot of times when she came over, she was shocked at the way Sylvia was looking. The pastor even asked about Sylvia. And, oh, I'm so sorry. The reason why she... Um, tried to escape and gathered up as much strength as she could is because she, um, Gertrude made her write a letter to her parents saying, um, write, not a letter to her parents, but write a letter saying that she was running off with these boys and blah, blah, blah. And that they beat her up and all this stuff. And then, um, but then she still was gonna go run away with them and never come back and stuff like that. So Gertrude thought that that would work. So her parents would think she was just a runaway, I guess, is what I'm thinking. And Gertrude, I mean, Sylvia overheard her saying um, that there, she needs help to get Sylvia loaded up into, the, into their vehicle. And she's going to take her to the forest and leave her there to perish and die. So Sylvia overheard what they planned on doing to her. That's why she really gave her, her all to um, escape. So, like I said, Stephanie was um, going to give her a bath. And then, so Sylvia stopped breathing before she could be carried upstairs to be given the bath by Stephanie. When Stephanie realized that Sylvia stopped breathing, she, she attempted mouth to mouth. And she kept telling her mom, that her mom, they need to call, they need to call for an ambulance. That she's not breathing. Gertrude kept arguing and saying she's just a liar. She's just lying. She's just faking. She's just fine. She's just fine. So Sylvia was screaming at everybody to try to get someone to um, call 911. I guess the last final, when she tried to escape and she bashed her head against the wall, um, that's what did it for Sylvia. Um, she attempted mouth to mouth and repeatedly kept shouting. Um, shortly after 5.30 p.m., Richard got there and saw Stephanie crying and holding Sylvia's emaciated and um, lacerated body. Um, then Gertrude, she started, oh, let me, let's 
Sorry, guys. Then Gertrude started hitting Sylvia with the book, saying, Liar, liar. Um, she then had Richard, then she, after repeatedly hitting her, she realized that Sylvia really wasn't breathing and she really wasn't faking it. And so she yelled for Richard to go to a payphone, not to call from the house phone, but to go to a payphone and call the police. Or, and get an ambulance to call 911. And so Richard went to the payphone and said that he thinks there's a dead girl and gave him the address. Then the police, so the police arrived. And Gertrude led them. Sorry, she led the police down to the basement. And the police were shocked and horrified by what they saw. Cops that. Detectives even say. They said that. Um. It was the most disturbing thing, disturbing violence that they've ever, most disturbing thing they've ever seen. And the one cop or detective was, had been with the department for 30 years. And he said that was the worst he's ever seen. So, oh, sorry, they had, mo they had moved her up, so, I'm so sorry, they had moved her up to the, upstairs onto a soiled mattress. So then Gertrude hands a letter to the police, um, saying that Sylvia had, well, that she had Sylvia right. And then she tried, she told the police that this is how Sylvia returned back to her and that she's been trying this whole time just to nurture her back to health and just to help her. The police knew, knew something was wrong, you know, fishy, they, they knew something was up right away. Um, and then, um, I keep saying, um, darn it. I was really trying hard with this one not to say frickin' um. The so the detectives... Um, go towards Jenny and started wanted to talk to her and Sylvia I mean not Sylvia Jenny whispered to them she said get me out of here and I'll tell you everything so they did they got Jenny out of there and Jenny told them every single detail. The police after hearing Jenny, they promptly arrested Gertrude, Paula, Stephanie and John on suspicion of Sylvia's death. The same day, Coy and Richard were also arrested and charged with the same crime. The three oldest children and Coy were placed in juvenile detention center.
The younger children were placed in Indianapolis Children's Guardian's home. Initially, <clears throat> Gertrude, um, sorry, let me fix my drills here. Initially, Gertrude, she, um, completely denied everything. She said all she was trying to do was help, and Sylvia did nothing but cause her problem and grief, and she was just unruly, wouldn't listen. She was a slut, would run away all the time, and all she was trying to do was just do what was right and help her. And she denied it, even though, um, although by October 27th she had confessed to having known the kids, particularly her daughter Paula and Coy Hubbard, that, that was, um, that's, that was Stephanie's boyfriend, had physically, emotionally abused Sylvia and saying Paula did most of the damage and Coy did a lot of the beating. That's what Ger Gertrude attempted to, um, having forced her to sleep in the, she did admit, sorry, Gertrude admitted to making her sleep in the basement on three occasions because she kept wetting the bed. She became invasive when others stated likely reason Sylvia had became incontinent. Incontinent um, was um, mutil. It was her. She was in. Uh, mutated, sorry. Incontinence was her mutated distress and injury to her kidneys, um, her lower regions. That's what slowly, you know, also killed her. Lacking any remorse, Paula admittedly having repeatedly beaten Sylvia about the backside with the police belt also once um, breaking her wrist on Sylvia's jaw um, then she once she got the cast she brutally attacked her again and was beating her in the face when she had her cast on She also, Paula also admitted other acts of brutally, including pushing her down the stairs into the basement two or three times, giving a black eye. John Jr. admitted to having spanked Sylvia on one occasion and that most of the time used his fist to abuse her. He admitted burying her with um, matches on several times, adding that his mother had repeatedly burned her with cigarettes. Five other neighborhood children who had participated in her abuse, Michael Monroe, Randy Lepper, Darlene McCoy, Judy Duke, Anna Siskoy had also been arrested by October 29th. All were charged with causing injury to a person and each were subsequently released into custody of their parents under subpoena to appear as witnesses at, um, 
at the trial. Let me see here. make you wait okay y'all I had actually left some parts out so um she had so poor Sylvia she had suffered in excess of 150 separate wounds across her entire body in addition to being extremely emaciated at the time of her death the wounds himself varied in location, nature, severity, and the actual stage, different stages of healing. Her injuries included burns, sev um, severe bruising, and extensive muscle and nerve damage. Her vaginal cavity was almost swollen shut. Although on examination of the ca um, can her canal determined that her hymen was still intact, so she wasn't raped. I thought it said she was. The autopsy also direct, um, discredited Gertrude's assertions Likens had been three months pregnant, a prostitute, a prostitute and promiscuous. Um, all of Likens' fingernails were broken backwards, and most of the external layers of skin upon the, her child's face breast, neck, and right knee had peeled or receded. Oh, can you imagine? My goodness. The pain she had to went through. Um, it makes me, yeah, it makes me teary-eyed. Teary Whew. I gotta hurry and finish this story. Um, Likens had eventually bitten through her lips, partially severing sections of them from her face. So, the official cause of her death was a subdermal hematoma due to receiving severe blow to her right temple. Both the, sho both the shock she had primarily suffered due to severe and prolonged damage inflicted her skin and um, subcutaneous tissues plus the severe mal mal malnutrition were listed as contributory factors to her death. I guess rigor mortis had fully developed at the time of the, of the discovery of her body indicating lichens may have been deceased for up to eight hours before she was, before they called anybody. Dang, I didn't, I didn't even re know that part. That's crazy, so they just knew she was dead and left her there. So in three months, they, she was dead. They killed her. And the mom, like I said, the mom tried to blame it all on the kids. Okay. They were arrested. I'm trying to, um... So Jenny did testify against all five defendants on May 2nd and 3rd. Um, the corn, yeah, we won't read all that. I just want to see how long. Oh, and like I said, the pastor 
the, um, the Baptist minister, his name's Roy Julian, testified he did know that she was being abused. The same day, 13-year-old Judy Duke also testified in May to having witnessed like in, um, Sylvia once indoors salt being rubbed into swords upon her legs until she screamed. They also, yeah, they did that to her in the bathtub. She was all she was mainly naked downstairs. Um, I'm trying to find out prosecution. Okay. I just wanna see okay, convictions, there we go. The trial of the five defendants lasted 17 days before the jury retired to consider its verdict. On May 19, 1966, after deliberating for eight hours, the panel of eight men and four women found Gertrude guilty of first-degree murder, recommending a sentence of life imprisonment. Paula was found guilty of second-degree murder, and Hobbs, Hubbard, and John were found guilty of manslaughter. Upon hearing Judge Rabb pronounce the verdict, Gertrude and her children burst into tears and attempted to console each other as Hobbs and Hubbard remained impassive. Um, let me see. On May 25th, Gertrude um, I'm sorry. So there was retrial in September 1970. Um, Indiana Supreme Court reversed conviction of Gertrude and Paula. Because pa Paula, she was pregnant and had, she'd had her baby by then. Um, Paula, on the basis that Judge Saul Isaac Rabb had denied repeatedly submitted motions by their defense counsel at the original trial and um, for them to both change venue and have separate trials so that they were trying to say that they weren't treated fair because of all the extensive news publicity surrounding the case and they didn't get a fair trial. Um, the pair were retried in 1971. Paula opted to plead guilty to voluntary manslaughter rather than face a retrial. She was sentenced to serve a term between 2 and 20 years imprisonment for her part in Sylvia's abuse and death. Despite, despite twice unsuccessfully having attempted to escape from prison in 1971, she was released December 1972. I know that she did change her name. All of them changed their names. Gertrude, however, was again convicted of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison. Over the course of 14 years, Gertrude beca became known as a model prisoner at the Indiana, Mom's, um, Indiana Women's Prison. She worked in a prison sewing shop. Emon was known as somewhat of a den mother to young female inmates, becoming known to some within the prison by nickname Mom. Ugh. By the time Gertrude's ultimate parole in 1985, she had changed her name to Nadine Van Bossen. A combination of her middle name and maiden name and described herself as a devoted Christian. So she did get paroled in 1985. So she did not serve that much time for that brutal act, but she's definitely, uh,
there's just a special place for people like that, isn't there? I hope she just gets tortured every day, all day, like she did this poor Sylvia. Yeah, when I saw that movie, at first I didn't realize it was a true story. And then when I realized it was a true story, I was like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened, but there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of stories I want to cover that I can't believe happened, you know? People are just, I don't know what, it's, the mind's fascinating to me. The human mind. What pushes people over the edge. It's not like Gertrude was a known serial killer. So what on earth pushed her to do something that awful? I think it was a lot of built up hate And she was just stressed and sick. She was just sick in the head. To want to torture someone, who would, who would want to, who would want, who in their right mind would want to torture anyone? Cause and then burn her with cigarettes and carve, I'm a prostitute and proud of it. And then. Poor, poor Sylvia, hearing from them that they're gonna, that they're gonna just take her out in the forest and leave her to die. So, do you guys think I did better? I hope I did better, y'all. I feel like I did do a little bit better. Um, I did miss a few things, but I think I'll get better about being able to memorize things and working my brain that way. Sometimes it's hard to get off where, right when you put the patty box in there. It really wants to stick. So what, yeah, what do you got, what are your thoughts of this story? Have you all seen the movie? Have you heard about this story? Do you guys have suggestions? Do you guys have um, anything like that? Any, any story that you'd like me to research and um, maybe do on my channel. If so, let me know in the comments below, please. Y'all, please, please just comment. I love it. Just comment and say hi. Um, if you haven't subscribed, I don't know what's stopping you. Because you know what's weird? Is, you know, you're the anal... What is it? Anal ah, what's it called? Where it show shows like my stats and stuff for my YouTube. It says that more pe um the most pe the most that people what that watch my videos, most of them, they're not even subscribed to me. What's stopping y'all? Please hit that, hit it hard. Just hit that, hit that red button. Hit that bell. 
I'm gonna learn how to go live too here soon. I've got someone that said that they're gonna help me. They're gonna they're gonna teach me how. So that's good. That'd be so fun to go live so I can have my laptop and I can diamond paint and do a bin chat and talk to y'all about it. Or we could do a true crime and we could all talk about it. Yeah, that'd be so I can't wait to go live. I can't wait to have that conversation with y'all. But when I do do that, it'll be like a Like, I'll definitely let you know what time I'll be on. Because I'd hate to sit there and just be on there and nobody knows I'm on, that I'm going, I'm live and <laughs> I'm just sitting there and nobody shows up. Like, I would, I would so cry. <laughs> okay, guys, well, this is part two. And it's already been almost an hour, so thank you all so much. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. Either way, thank you for so much for watching. Please subscribe again. I'm a good person. I, I would I I would hate I would subscribe to myself. <laughs> um Yeah, so this is gonna like I said, this is gonna be regular on my channel, so I love y'all. Give me those comments. Show me, show me that you can comment on my videos, please. Like just, and also when you comment, it does help me. Um, the more comments, the more likes, um, the more YouTube will recommend my channel for other people. But I do love, truly, deeply from my heart. I put this on everything. I love your comments because I love to talk to y'all and I love to get to know you guys. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys like it. This will be up hopefully within four hours. Sorry about the upload time. Wish that was faster. Um, but thank you guys so much. And hopefully pretty soon I'll have a new setup, guys. Yay! So I'll have an actual, like, desk where I'll lay it, it out and yeah it, it yeah so all right guys I love y'all take care stay safe and bye guys <laughs>